well taken by Peter O'Malley there on that occasion. And Ireland swarm around him now. Chris Henry is there for Ireland now, tries to go forward with that one. Ireland inching Wales back, remember Ireland by 19 points to three. We're in the final two minutes as Conor Murray looks to get his hands on the ball. Ireland now marching Wales back to the line on the near side of the pitch. Oh, Ireland swarm all over them. Wales disintegrating as Ireland now shove them and shove them back towards the valleys. Ireland going for the line. They look to take control of it. There are four fellas lining up here as Conor Murray has control of it. Moves it across. Paddy Jackson for the line. Paddy Jackson for the try. He touches it down. Brilliantly created try by Ireland. Again, the line out central to it, the ball, and eventually creating the overlap for Ireland and for Jackson to go in under the post. What a well, performance! I tell you what, there was a lot of old guff during the course of the week about how many matches in a row this Wales team had won. The champions for the last two years that we're talking about 2011 and the last time they lost in a away game in this championship, but they forgot about the fact that they're in a situation where the last team that lost the match in this championship too was Ireland. Ireland weren't even mentioned. Mike Phillips is sent to the sin bin. Paddy Jackson with the conversion opportunity inside the 22 metre line. And I'll tell you what, it's Ireland by almost a canter. 24 points to three. We're in the final minute of the match here. As Paddy Jackson now with the conversion opportunity in front of the Havelock Square end. God is this one. And he absolutely smashes it between the posts. Speaking of smashing, Ireland have smashed Wales. It's 26 points to three.